Hello all dear crafters around the world and welcome to my channel. I have a new journal, chunk journal, to present for you. And um, let's get on and explore it. Um, it's an old book, Aldert book, and for the cover I used some scrapbook paper and this um, old uh, scrap from my stash and on the spine used some uh, lace and this is the back from the book um, the size of it um, it's like five one fourth inch to seven three fourths you can't see it to the end so so the closer is this knob. It's very easy, easy to close, and with the eyelet in the back. And I've used a lot of beautiful scrapbook papers in this one. The um, inside cover, I made this round pocket with this uh, beautiful tilde ephemera and behind that there is another pocket and there I made this uh, cute tag book I would say with some uh, scrap papers for writing journaling so and there are some eyelash trim and some embroidery thread. So this is um, Stamperia paper and on the spine inside I have used some fabric and this is um, my own um, paper I've made and then I made here a little a doily pocket. This is idea from Emily. Thank you, Emily. This is so cute idea and very easy way to use some doilies. And here inside we have again uh, this small bunny from Tilda and a piece of paper. Here is just some um, butterfly image and here I made another doily pocket with some old ledger paper. And those pockets behind and between and front and in the front there's just a small small mini playing card. There's a lot of sewing. I love sewing. Even my old machine is not the best but I love it. Here I made a, a side pocket with some lace trim and a tack. Some nice eyelet, eyelet trim. This is again my own paper. Some scrapbook paper, printable. This is also my own um, paper, small pocket, and this a small tag. This cute bunny, and this is the middle of the first signature. There's just an index card, some decoupage, it goes over and in the middle there's a big clock. This is Tamperia paper and this, this nice applicate rose flower. Here's a round tag. The papers are tea stained. And here is a 
I got place to put this card, the index card. A lot of place for writing in this time. Here is a nice image. The lady with the roses. And here is one of my my try to making a flower and packed with a doily and a big pocket and in the pocket I have this uh, leaflet maybe for photos or so here's another of these small doily pockets this paper flower here, half of the doily, and now we are in the second signature. He just made some trim and some cold old music paper. This is a side pocket with this from this um, glassine bag saying nature and some ephemera, ephemera inside. Dragonfly. This is also my own paper. And this is a piece I got from Rene. Thank you, Rene. And a vintage uh, stationery envelope. And behind that, there's some decoupaging. A lot of beautiful papers. And this is the stationary paper uh, that goes to the envelope. And just this kind of paper. And this is the middle of the second signature. It's very shabby. This is a tilde ephemera. You can put here something. And here a lace pocket. Some decoupage in with the rice paper. This is for writing, and another of these small roses. Here's a side pocket with some lace trim and this small tag. Here I used Susan Susan's paper for that. There's a video where I have a, used as a design team project project using this paper kit if you want to see that's another side of the decoupaging and this small piece another pocket and here is also a pocket I should put something in there and one more of this small doily with some decoupaging butterfly. And on the back, there's also the same kind of uh, round text board and this beautiful vintage uh, scrap rose. And behind there's also a pocket. So that was the rose theme journal. I hope you liked it and uh, thank you for watching and joining me today and I wish everybody a wonderful day and see you back soon and I also hope that everybody finding in a good health and hope to find you safe. Bye. Mm.